<laughs> Hello again everyone, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me on another video. In this one we are going to go and have a look at a small UPS, which for those of you who are unaware, UPS is an uninterruptible power supply and they are designed to keep systems running in a power cut. And generally most UPSs are designed to keep a system running for 20 minutes, half an hour or so, whilst you sort out what's gone wrong with the power or spin up a backup generator or to give you enough time to shut down systems. In this case, however, this specific UPS is targeted at home users who may have a small internet router, internet router and a modem that they may wish to keep on in the event of a power cut, especially nowadays with a lot of houses no longer having landlines, things like that. Something that may be of use in an emergency to keep your systems running, to keep your Wi-Fi up until such time as the power comes back on. Now, generally, when you say UPS, most people are thinking of something of this size, which is obviously a rack mounted UPS for servers. This is a SmartUps 2200. It's an older model, but uh, it still works. But it will keep this rack working for 10, 15 minutes while it sorts itself out and shuts everything down. But today we are going to be looking at something that is um, a little bit smaller. Now, this is the Backups Connect CP12036LI from APC. And this is a small 12 volt UPS. And that makes it a little bit different from most because most UPSs are designed to obviously take the power in and convert it from 110 or 240 volts into a storage battery that's normally 12, 24, 48 volts, and then convert it back to 110 or 240 volts, depending on where you are in the world. This, on the other hand, works a little bit different. So we'll get into that. But what do you get? Well, you get a neat little box. Uh, this is the one I've ordered. This is my one that I purchased because I thought you guys might want to see it. And in the box, Fine. we get some nice instructions with some status LEDs. <laughs> informing you what's going on and crucially a specification now nominal voltage this is a 12 volt ups as say able to supply 36 watts out at 12 volts and it has a rated output current of up to 3 amps but critically these are some of the interesting things it will keep a 5 watt load running for approximately 240 minutes. So we'll have a quick look at that. It's, it, you get the UPS <laughs> with its associated cable. You will also get some jack adapters for different size plugs. This comes with a default, I think it's two and a half mil or 2.1 mil adapter and this is the actual ups itself it's a very small compact lithium ups as you can see on the back here so it's going from 12 volts to 11.1 .1 volts and it has a 27.75 watt hour battery inside it but why is this sort of thing useful well to put it simply, if you have a power cut at home and generally you just want something to be able to keep your internet connection up, keep the Wi-Fi on for a little bit of time, then this is actually an ideal solution. <laughs> the way it works is pretty simple. Now, for the purposes of this, we are going to borrow this old Draytech, hence the uh, slight patina to it, but it will do as a test for uh, what I'm going to show you. Most of the time routers of home use or small business, if they're not anything particularly spectacular, will have a 12 volt connection on the back. Check beforehand on this, we can see this is a 12 volt to 15 volt Draytech with uh, 1.6 to 1.3 amps of power required. And it has on the back, uh, angled socket and a power switch. So what we are going to do is turn this Draytech off. Okay. Unplug the power. 
we are going to then plug the power into the side of our APC uh, where it will back up uh, boot up sorry and there we go fully online a little bit charging because it's a uh, always going to want to top up then we take the other end of the UPS's power lead and plug it in like so turning the router back on we can see that yep away it goes booting up so that is now going to sit and boot up quite nicely and off it goes so that is now booted up and if this was at your office, your home, your, U your router is now protected by a UPS. Now, some of you are going to require something that uh, has the ability to power something, for example, like a VDSL modem or an ONT or another modem. Again, making sure that it's 12 volt, you can actually get... A splitter cable like this which takes a 12 volt single jack and turns it into a double um, I'll include some links to some of these the one thing you do need to make sure of is that the size of the pin is correct for your application when you order these because they tend to be sized differently this end to this end if you order them so um, you need to work out what size pin yours is or get a converter that's or gets a splitter that has a couple of different size ends maybe or some adapters for them but once you're uh, plugged in and once your ups is obviously fully up and running and charged in the event of a power cut oh no you will see that the ups will start to flash and this draytech is now running off of battery power now in my testing, this UPS ran this Draytech for two hours without an issue. So 120 minutes, absolutely no problem. And still had probably a good half an hour or so's worth of battery life left in it. But generally the idea of units like this is to keep your devices connected so that you can deal with everything, make sure everything is okay, and then obviously sort out getting replacement power. Or if you want to, you can obviously press and hold the power button on there, and that will turn it off. And that obviously powers down everything. So you can actually use this as a way of sparingly firing up your uh, home internet connection or business internet connection in the event of an elongated outage there we go just turn it back on and back up it comes so very useful for multiple things you could even use it if needs be if you have something a bit more complex a travel device that sort of thing because as you can see from its size it's not very big it's very compact it's very easy to to use nothing particularly uh, stressful about it but there you go a simple quick very easy to use install and deploy but very flexible for powering anything 12 volt with a 12 volt barrel jack feel free to come up with some suggestions in the comments i will include an affiliate link to this um, below in the description of the video but hopefully this has been quite useful to you let's plug that back in and off it goes. There we go. So that's now charging back up. The other thing that you might want to look at, for those of you out there with devices such as the Unify UXG Lite, um, this is a Unify Express. This currently, I have not found a easy to use adapter that this will power as it stands this is the only adapter i found that's already assembled that goes from 12 volts to usb-c um, i won't include a link to this because overall 
I'm not happy with this. It does power this. It will power a UXG light via USB-C, so I can um, Icky. connect that in there and I unplug it out the back and plug that in there. This is kind of a, sorry, excuse the cable mess, but you will see that is now booting up. As I say, this is the only one I've found. It's only two and a half amps out and the Unify Express requires around three amps to run. So this works, <laughs> this does not. Currently, if I find a better version of this, I will get hold of it, test it, and I will include that in a link down below. But there you go. Hopefully this is something that you may find useful. I found it quite useful. I like the idea of these. We've got plenty of places that these will sit in and now do some jobs. But uh, hopefully this has been useful to you. If it has, please feel free to drop it a like, subscribe, etc. All the normal stuff. And thank you for watching.